So what do a three-ring circus and our government have to do with each other? Actually, they have a lot more in common than you think. First, what do you know about separation of power? Exactly, not a whole lot. Let's take a look at it this way. A three-ring circus has exactly what it's called, three rings. They may consist of lions, tigers, and acrobats. Lions being the first ring, tigers being the second ring, and the acrobats in the third ring. In our government, the first ring would be the executive, the second ring would be the legislative, and the third and final ring would be the judiciary. In the executive ring, the president sees that laws are followed and everything is done correctly. In a circus, he would be the ringmaster. Think of him as the ringmaster of our government. The Congress, or legislative ring, pass laws and juggle bills. Oh boy, doesn't that sound like a thrill? In the third ring, the Supreme Court, or judiciary, teams the fight of the crimes by balancing out the wrongs with our rights. No ring can be more powerful than the other. Our government would be off balance. A three ring circus has three equally as entertaining rings. Our government has the same. The three rings of our government share in power so tyranny doesn't occur. Hence the name separation of power. Each one of the rings has control of the other and that is, why we, that is what we call checks and balances. Each ring has an important role in entertaining the crowd at the circus. Our three branches of government do the same for us. Our country is the audience and the branches are the three rings. We are keeping an eye on their performance as they seek not to quite entertain us in a humorous fashion, but through a keeping us safe and happy. So when your teacher asks what separation of power is, remember a three ring circus.